Hi, my name is Lawrence and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. Welcome to our introduction to Bootstrap. In this course, I'm going to be introducing you to how to use Bootstrap, how to apply it to your web pages. I've been a web developer for over 15 years and I'm here to help you learn how to use Bootstrap. One of the things with Bootstrap is I've always enjoyed using it because it makes web design a lot simpler, quicker, faster and easier. So the idea with Bootstrap is that we connect to the Bootstrap libraries and within our HTML we add in the effective classes and apply Bootstrap. And Bootstrap gives us a whole lot of functionality with just some simple HTML structure and classes and attributes. I'm going to show you how to add Bootstrap. We're also going to be running through what Bootstrap is, the various classes within Bootstrap, how to structure Bootstrap, the different breakpoints in Bootstrap that make it responsive. And yes, Bootstrap is responsive and when you're developing your website in Bootstrap, think responsive. So there's various breakpoints within Bootstrap and we're going to be covering these within the course and also just different components that are available in Bootstrap. So one of my favorites is Jumbotron, so it really does a nice effect. There's also how we can add media objects, different typography that's available in Bootstrap, tables, Bootstrap gives you the ability to handle tables really nicely, really well. Also Bootstrap forms, uh, so Bootstrap provides classes and styling for forms. And another favorite of mine are the components such as buttons. So Bootstrap makes really nice attractive buttons and users love to click those buttons from Bootstrap and Bootstrap makes it easy to style these buttons. There's also different uh, styling within the content that you can apply, also images, how we handle images in Bootstrap, and also various components, coloring, styling, grouping, and so on. Also navigation bar, so navigation bars are super important for any website and Bootstrap makes it easy to create these navigation bars. There's also Bootstrap carousels, tool tips, and a lot of these built-in functionalities in Bootstrap that can be built out just by applying attributes to your various elements and uh, things like the Bootstrap modal. So it's another very popular one that gets used often. So we're also going to be covering Bootstrap styling, utilities, and overall how we can use Bootstrap within our web projects. So some of the web projects that we're going to be building out, so this is just a quick sampling of what's coming within the course and what we're going to be building out from scratch using Bootstrap. All of the source code is also included in the course so you can get familiar with using Bootstrap and really get a good feel for what can be done with Bootstrap and how you can use it within your own web projects. Making mobile responsive websites easy to do and simplified by using Bootstrap. So there's a number of different things that we can do with Bootstrap and we're going to be covering off how to use Bootstrap within your own web projects. So that's all coming up in this course and in the next set of lessons.